The residents and the school board are trying to put together another referendum. News 3's Jessica R. has more. Well, the first referendum failed just two days ago, but the school board is hustling to gather ideas and pose another question to the community. It's game time in Broadhead. Girls basketball and pet fans stepping up for the competition. A lot of people I spoke to were voting no because they took it as threat. But the real battle is down the hall. It's our school system. Where a community is struggling to save their school. I don't know how else to say on behalf of the board that it is not an ultimatum. Extracurriculars are $159,000 in this district. We are $400,000 short. We're here tonight if someone has any suggestions of how to make up $159,000 so that we can replace that. The school board says it will go to another referendum in April, but they have until midnight Friday to put one together to meet the election deadline and want input from the community. The other suggestion I would have is that we do run the same referendum through because I, I really don't feel like it's that much money. I think that the quality that we get here in this town is, is just way too high to give up. The A classes, the AP classes, all of that is so important. It is college appeal. Too many of these kids that are going to be going into their senior year, heck, too many of them that are going into their freshman year, have worked too hard and too long to be able to say, hey, I'm going to be a senior next year, and my class is gone, and it's out the door. Whether you guys have a problem with one of the people up here, or you hate me, or you hate so-and-so, you got to put that stuff aside so that we can come up with a solution to this whole problem, because ultimately, this whole town's going to cave in if we don't. And the school administration will take the suggestions tonight and work all day tomorrow to come up with referendum questions for the board to debate at a meeting tomorrow night. So a lot of passion there, and uh, you heard the one lady asking for ideas. Were there any productive ideas? There were actually were. The teachers union actually announced tonight they were willing to open their contract and agree to a wage freeze for next year. The athletic director also proposed seeing if the community parks and rec department would fund middle school sports, but. Already the idea of sports leaving this community has people running. Apparently there are nearly 180 students who have already applied for open enrollment. Yeah, it is a huge source of pride in every small community in Wisconsin.